Hi, I'm here to get my hair cut at Gentleman and Rose Club, Parkstone in Paul, and a barber today is Charlie. Nice. Let's do this. So what I've done is I've just sectioned off the top so it's out of my way and I can just focus on the sides. I've got my wall icons, uh, one guard, and it's just fully open so it's actually a one and a half. And I'm just in at the neck, not holding it flat, at like a 90 degree, and I flick up. You'll kind of feel when you hit the occipital bone, just like go off it. Did the beard into a point, and then what I'm doing is I'm doing the same motion, but just flicking around the ear. And I connect with that line I made in the beginning. Sweet, I'm now going to my matador comb, hold it flat against the head, and then just go from left to right. Working my way up the head. Keeping the spine connected to the head, and as I work my way up, I angle more and more out. This matador comb is probably a, a thickness of a two. Thickness meaning the, that, that's the thickness of it. So if I held that in dead flat and went in, that would be a two. Same as like a wall comb. The wall comb's a little bit thinner, so if I held that flat against the head, that would be a one. Keeping the comb square with the head. Nice. So now what I'm going to do is there's a faint line between the one and a half and the matador comb. So I've now got my wall comb, and like I said, it's a bit thinner. So I'm just going to get in there at that line and just nicely work up and down. So now what I've done is I've swapped to just scissor over comb. And I'm just now blending where I left off with that matador comb, gradually getting longer so it can blend in with the top. Just having this top primarily nearly a slick back, it's just going to go off at a slight angle. In flat against the head, and as I go up, slowly lift off the head. Sweet. So what I do now, now I'm down to the top. He's having it primarily slick back, just off at an angle. So I'm going to get the uh, tooth of my comb, start from this side of the, the recede and go straight across to the left side of the crown. Just like that. And then comb from the back of the crown. And then that's where I did my scissor over comb, that shortest point. Connect. <laughs> and what I'm doing is I'm just connecting all of this to the back there. Sweet. So now, because I went vertical, I'm now going horizontal. No, other way around. I did go horizontal, now I'm going vertical. And I'm just connecting up. Both of the sides are connected, it's just the center piece now. And what I do is, so I did put my line there, so I'm not going to put my line over here. Sweet. So I've just point cutted and connected the center. And what I'm going to do now is just freehand some texture in there. So I'm going to run the comb through. And as I'm going to go in, Go in, open scissor, and pull out clothes. I like that, that kind of motion. And what that does is it just kind of thins out and adds texture. Mm. 
actually spit on a screen for effect. Yeah. Ah! And this is the bit where I make it look like it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Salt Bay. What with a pinky in the air? Actually, I read the comment section on the last video. Someone asked, what scissors do I use? I use the sharp ones. Sharp ones. I use kitchen scissors. No, I use the passion eaters. <laughs> to answer whoever that question was. Yeah. I'm not sorry, I haven't watched. I haven't watched you. Your video went yesterday, didn't it? Yeah. I, I, I haven't seen it. Sweet. So that's rock on with a beer, Gemma. Nice. Got a bit of height in there. When I put some product in there. <laughs> yeah, right. I actually had it nice and sharp. Well, is that just when there's a bank statement comes in and it's all from Sweet. all houses? So, yeah, I'm thinking just the shape that it is, like the length wise, it's not too bad on the chin. It's just here and here where it kind of flicks out when you sharpen that up, sharpen up the cheeks as well, and just have it go nice and in and around. So, I'm doing now, I've got my wall detailers. I'm just going to sharpen around the hairline. Yeah, I've been speaking, let's do my best. I think the next message will be um, could you please send me some money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the no, but you can ask if you posted to his address and then one of you guys posted to him. Yeah. yeah. That takes a long time, right? It's the solution though. Yeah. It, it True. Korea. Korea. Yeah. Sweet, so what I do with this side is I just take it straight down and then when I, when I feel like I've hit the corner, which would be here, about this area here, you can see it can go straight down and then there's no more hair here. So I'm just going to go straight down and then I'm going to go straight across. What I'm going to be doing is taking it like kind of round just this edge here. And the way I'm going to do that is just comb it all down. Put in my baseline. And by doing that, it's where that corner I left with the clippers. Just follow it with my scissors. Straight across. And I kind of do it in, in free cuts. So this will, so straight. And then to round it, you cut top, cut middle, you cut bottom. You just... How's that beard length feel? Yeah, that's good. That feels sharp? Yeah. Nice, man. Just sharpen up the moustache a little bit more and we're golden. So with this moustache, what I like to do is just comb it, comb it down straight, and then where the centre is, just pull them apart, and then get the uh, just the edge of the clipper, and follow the uh, natural lips or the, the line of the lips. Jumbly. Nice. Now for finishing touches, I just like to get out the cutthroat razor and just sharpen up those cheekbones. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're gonna be using some um, some tea tree uh, starting balm. Just give that a bit of hold, a little bit of moisture, and the fragrance is nice. This fucking If you've got a little bit left on your hands, might as well just put it in the hair because it's got a nice bit of hold. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.